You know, Andre, that final stop you guys were able to get and, you know, force them into a missed field goal. Just how, how were your spirits, how were you emotionally going from seeing that touchdown to seeing the flag and knowing that, you know, you were going to get another chance? I mean, I trust in uh, our team in all three phases, special team, offense, uh, defense. I know we can get the job done, and that's what we did tonight. In spite of the statistics, you guys defensively continue to step up and make plays at the end of these wins. You did it last week at Miami. You did it at App. You even did it in the fourth quarter at Georgia State and again tonight. What does that say about you guys to be able to step up in those moments and make those plays? Uh, that's not about resiliency. We know that uh, every team we play with is going to give us their best. So we just lock in. Like I've been saying, everybody's doing their one eleven thing. Just come out on top and just try something every time. DeAndre, Josh said these last two wins, in his opinion, are you guys' best wins. And he said you can feel it in the locker room. It's like a static. Like what, what's been going on there? We heard, we've heard the, the music coming through the walls. But crazy. You guys chanting Road Warriors or something like that? Uh, I think so. But, uh, what was your question? My bad. What's, what was going on in there? What was the celebration? It's just a lot of, this is hype. Everybody, I mean, everybody turned, everybody hype. We won. And, just glad we got the job done because we know if we came out on the other side, it would have been everybody face would have been down and would have been stuff like that. But I'm just so glad and proud of our whole team and proud of everybody, man. Riley Leonard in the first half, I think, rushed for you know 114, 120 yards. Second half, I think you guys held under 25 rushing yards. What adjustments were made at halftime that kind of slowed down the joint time? Well, you know, we uh, we trust and believe in uh, Coach Chizik and Coach Warren and all our coaches. They come together and make adjustments uh, at halftime. And, we just try to get the best product on the field in the second half, and we did that. What was your vantage point on the last drive? Were you watching? Were you trying not to watch? And and when Drake hit Andre, and I mean Antoine in the uh, in the end zone, like what? Just what was going on for you as, as all that was unfolding? Oh, everybody, everybody was watching. Everybody was locked in on uh, the offense because we know the offense can pull it together. And they pulled together. At the end. When you guys took the field defensively right after that, and they had 16 seconds, I guess, was there anything anybody said, Cedric or anybody said, that kind of sticks with you, maybe a little bit different than they say going out on the field for a series? Uh, not anyone specifically, but uh, I would just say the coaches just telling us to lock in on the details of the coverage and uh, just make sure we're taking our drops and packing everything back in and making sure they don't complete the ball over our heads. So just basic reminders? Just basic reminders. At this point in the season with Drake and what he's done, when they went back on the field and two minutes left, uh, how what kind of went through? Did you pretty much expect they're going to score a touchdown? Oh, for sure. Yeah, we, we do one minute of practice every day. And I believe in trusting everybody on offense and trusting the offensive coaches. So I just, I knew, I knew deep down that we were going to get the job short. You guys good with Drake? Yep. Thanks,